Hello friends and welcome back to the world of music. So today I'm here to show you how to put together your instrument kits or maybe some ideas to help you with those. So first thing I've got here is of course the thing we talked about in class last week. My bag, right? You could use any kind of bag but I think a Ziploc would be best because then you can seal it and you don't have to worry about anything falling out or getting in, right? Keeps everything safe and sealed. So, if you look at my bag though, what's really important to notice is that I put my name on it, right? Mr. Chikino. So make sure that you put your name on your bag. So if it ever gets lost and somebody finds it, they can say, oh, this belongs to you and they'll get it back to you. So now, what goes in the instrument bag? Well, the first thing that you're gonna need is some sort of wooden sticks that you can hit together. What are some great sticks you can use? Well, the most obvious thing would be this. Drumsticks, right? So drumsticks work. Now, the thing is, you might wanna make sure you have something big enough to fit the drumsticks. Like, they don't fit in my bag here, see? They're still too big. Um, so, now, speaking of big, we always wanna go smaller with these instrument kits because look at this bag. I wanna make it so I don't have to fit too much stuff in here and so it's easy to carry. So instead of these guys, what I'm gonna use is a couple other things. You could use pencils. They make a great, great wooden sound. And everybody's got pencils, right? If you don't have pencils, you could even use... No, 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 just kidding. You could even use chopsticks. They work great. I actually got these for free at um, the Chinese restaurant. I said, hey, do you have chopsticks that I could use? And he said, sure, handed me the chopsticks, and I was good to go. So you could use pencils, chopsticks, drumsticks, or even something else wooden, you know? Anything else that you have. Like if you have wooden spoons lying around the house, they make a real great sound. Now make sure you get permission from your family before taking anything from your kitchen, right? So what else is in my instrument kit? Well, the next thing is an instrument to shake. So I have actually a couple things that you could use. The first thing you could use is one of these guys. A little egg shaker. If you have one of these, they work great. Or even if you have one of these lying around from Easter, you could fill it with all kinds of things. You could put rice in it. You could put um, pennies in it. You could put beads in it. You could put beans in it. You could put Legos in it, um, paper clips, anything that makes that rattling noise. So this is something you could use if you have one of these. You could even use a maraca. If you have a maraca, that works too. Now the thing about maracas is, Again, like the drumsticks, they're a little big. So you might want to go a little smaller, right? So the egg shaker is good if you have that. What if I don't have either of those things? Well, I bet you got one of these lying around. Empty this out, maybe wash it to make sure it's clean, right? Um, no germs on it. And then I've got an empty water bottle and I filled it with paper clips. You can put any of the things we talked about in there. You know, Legos, paper clips, rice, beans, beads, uh, pennies, anything like that works great. It's a nice shaker though. What else could I use as a shaker? You could even make your own from home. I took a uh, toilet paper roll, um, or you could use paper towel roll. Actually, that's what I use, that I cut it shorter, so it's smaller, easier to fit in my bag. And I took two pieces of paper, whoop, whoop, then I taped it shut with some duct tape. And I've got a really nice shaker, and look how hard I can shake it. No matter how hard I shake it, it's not gonna break, because the tape holds it together. So you could use that too for a shaker. Um, you could even use maybe a bigger container, like if you have a coffee can or something like that. That works great, you know? Any kind of container. If you have, um, I don't know, maybe a little container like this. I could use my container of paper clips. If you have a pencil case, that works great. Any small container that has small things in it that you can shake. Um, try to avoid putting food in it though, okay? Um, you could even use, you could get an old Tic Tac container, you know, or like an Altoids mint container or something, and then you could fill it with paper clips or something like that, and that makes a great shaker. So our third instrument would be something that we scrape. So this is getting a little more tricky. Now if you have one of these guys, they work great. A gyro, right? We talked about gyros last week, that was our instrument of the week. Um, if you've got a big one, you could even use that, but the problem with the big one, again, is, look at this guy. Pretty big. I'm gonna have a hard time fitting that in my bag, right? 
So maybe avoid the big ones. So what if I don't have any of that stuff? Well, you could take Legos, right? And take a look at this when I scratch it. I'm gonna scrape it. Let me get the other side. Because they're bumpy, they make a really great scraping noise, right? So this is another great scraper instrument that you could use. What if I don't have this either though? What, I don't have Legos now, what could I use? You could even use, um, whatever, like if you have, let me find an example. I have a little container here, and when I scrape it, the pencil, it makes a nice sound. Pencil cases work great, lunch boxes use, work great, um, even if you have a brush like this one. Make sure it's a clean brush, right? Or a small one that you can fit in your bag, but that works great too. Um, all kinds of stuff. Um, now my next instrument is a metal instrument. Now for me, what I did was I actually took my can, because if you look at the bottom of my coffee can, it's metal. And if I hit this with a pencil, it makes a great metal sound, right? So that's another thing you could use. What if I don't have one of these? See if you can find something metal around the house. Another great thing to use. A spoon. I'm sure you got one of these. Again, if you're going to use something from the kitchen, though, make sure you get permission from your family before taking it, okay? Um, but if you take, maybe I'll take my chopstick and hit it. It makes a nice metal sound, right? What you could also do is if you um, are home and you have, let me change the camera angle. So if you look down here, ah! There we go, so if you take a look down, hmm, let's switch my angle. There we go, so now you can see I'm on the floor. So if you take a look here, I've got a, a desk, right? And that makes a great metal sound. How about this desk? That one works too. So desks, if you have some sort of desk with a metal leg, that will work great. If you're in the classroom, you don't even need a metal instrument because you could just use your desk, it works great. Um, now speaking of desks, another thing you could use the desk for is a drum. Take a look, I've got my desk here, and it's a bit messy because I have my instruments on it, right? But if I drum on it, that makes a pretty awesome sound, dude. What if I don't have a desk by me? Well, you probably do. So I would say desk first, so that way you don't have to worry about bringing something with you. Because if you're at home, you could use a table, a dresser, a desk, anything that you've got by you, a stool, a chair, right? Um, or if you're coming in the classroom, you've got your desk in the classroom. Now, what if you don't want to use that? What if you want to actually use a drum? Well, if you have a really little one like this, that would work great. But again, this is going to be hard to transport to school, right? So, something smaller. I'm using the plastic lid of my coffee can. So, how cool is that? I've got three instruments in one. I've got metal, I've got shaker, and I've got drum. Now, the only other thing that you need to put in your instrument kits would be some kind of scarf or some kind of cloth that you can wave around. So, what I use is I took an old bandana, right? And it works great. Now, why is this in the instrument kit? Because um, you might, you're, we're gonna be using this actually when we listen to music. When the music gets fast, we're gonna be moving really fast. When the music gets slow, we're gonna move it slow. When the music goes high, maybe we'll hold it up high. When it gets low, we're gonna hold it down low, right? If you was a, when the music starts up high and then drops down lower and lower and lower, we're gonna let it go high, lower, 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 and fall on the floor, right? Um, so this works great. If you don't have one of these, you can use an old t-shirt, one with holes is great, because then you don't have to worry about, you know, it getting ruined if it's an old one that you don't care about. Um, you could even use if you've got some kind of scarf, like this one, like the one we use in the music room. That'll work great too. Um, you could use a dish towel, you could use a hand towel, you could use a washcloth, you could even use a tissue or a paper towel, guys. Make sure it's clean though, right? Um, but any kind of rag or cloth works great. Any kind of fabric you have, just something that you can wave in the air. So I've got my cloth, right? I've got my drum. I've got my metal. I've got my scraper. I've got my, oh, for the scrapers. Sandpaper also works great. I think I forgot to say that. Sandpaper is great because it's flat and, um, fits so easily in places because it's like flat paper. So I could use, I've got scraper, I've got, um, I've got my scarf, right? I've got my drum, I've got my sticks, I've got my metal. And I've got my shaker. And that's a lot of stuff. How could I fit that all in my bag? Well, first of all, I could get rid of this altogether, right? 
I could say, okay, I'll just use my desk at school or at home, right? I could use the top of the desk for the drum and the bottom of the desk for the metal, right? Um, or what you could also do is, if you have something bigger like this, maybe if it opens up, you could put things inside it. So I'm gonna put my shaker in there. I'm gonna put my scraper in here too. I'm gonna even cram this guy in here, my little um, cloth, and I can even take my pencil, and this one's not short enough, but if I sharpen it enough and I shorten it, that will fit in there too. And then when I close it all up, I've got everything in here, right? I've got my metal too, I've got my drum. Um, and then I can just throw it all in my bag, nice and neat. Not throw, place it all in my bag nice and neat. And then when I zip it all up, see how much smaller it is than a whole big full bag like this, right? It's a lot easier to carry something smaller like this. See that difference? Yeah. So, when in doubt, think smaller. And think things that you can take with you that you don't have to worry about breaking or getting lost, right? So I hope this has helped you guys for the instrument kits. Now they are due next week uh, for music class. Make sure you have them. If you're home, make sure you have them right next to you when music starts so you're ready to go to take your instruments out. If you're in school next week um, for music class, Make sure you bring it on your music day. So that way when I say, okay guys, time to take our instrument kits out. We're gonna do something fun. You can take your instruments out and you're ready to go. If you have any other questions, guys, please, please, please don't be a stranger. Reach out to me on Google Classroom or you could have your parents send me an email. Um, I'm always here to help, okay? And I hope you have a wonderful weekend and have fun making those instrument kits. I know it took me about five, 10 minutes to put all of this together and I had a really good time. It was fun exploring the house and looking for instruments. So I hope, or things that could be instruments, right? So I hope you enjoy this um, and I can't wait to see your instrument kits next week. Have a great weekend friends, bye.